What's up Kids Church and welcome to another 21CC Kids Online. And we are going to get right into our game today. So what you're going to need for this game is a bunch of spoons. You're going to need a bunch of spoons. So go, go to your kitchen drawer and get as many spoons as you can. Get them all. I'm going to clang, clang, clang my spoons. Clang, 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 clang. Okay. And this game is called Spoony Spoony Balance. Spoony Spoony Balance. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take the back of your hand and you're going to have to see how many spoons you can balance on the back of your hand until they fall off. Nice and easy. So every two seconds we are gonna add the spoon. Every two seconds. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Oh. oh no! See if I can get it back. Let's see if I can pick it up. Oh. I'm a bit behind on my spoons now. I'm gonna have to put some extras on. One, two. One, two. One. Two. Last one, one, two. Oh my goodness, we can hold it for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Hooray! How did you do at Spoony Spoony Balance? Let me know. Okay, so now it is time for the offering. And today we're going to be reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 14. And it is one of the shortest verses in the Bible. It is just four words and it says this. Do everything in love. Do everything in love. God wants us to do everything that we do in love. When we uh, share, he wants us to do it in love. When we talk to our friends, he wants us to do it in love. When we help mum and dad clean the house, he wants us to do it in love. And when we give money to Abdu, he wants us to do it in love. We should be loving Abdu and we should be loving the fact that we get to help him have a better life. The money we give goes towards him being able to go to school, him having good food, clean water, a bed, a house, some clothes. The money we give helps Abdu live an amazing life and we should love that we get to do that. God wants us to do everything that we do in love. I'm going to pray for Abdu very quickly and then we're going to move on. God, we thank you so much that everything that you do is in love. We pray that you would help us to be the same and that we would do everything in love. Help us to give our money to Abdu lovingly and help us to pray for him lovingly, knowing that he will have a better life thanks to the money that we give and the love that you give to him as well. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Okay, so now it is time for our teaching. And you know what that means. It is time to put the sword in its hold. And are we ready? Shing! Okay, so today we are looking for Luke chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. I'll say it again. Luke chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. Seven. Ready? Okay, three, two, one, go! Luke, okay, so I need to find Luke first. I need to find Luke first. Luke, 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 Luke. Luke's in the New Testament. Luke's in the New Testament. Jump in the New Testament. Jump in the New Testament. Oh, oh, Luke. Come on. Oh, and it's Luke. Luke. Now I need to find 
chapter 10. Yes, I've got it. Did you get it quicker than me? Let us know down in the comments below. But this is quite a long part of the Bible, so we're just gonna go through the story together. And this is the story of the good Samaritan. Jesus told this story to the people. And it's in this story, a man is walking down the road and he's walking away and he's enjoying his journey. But all of a sudden, he is attacked by robbers and they punch him and they kick him and they take all of his money and they tear all his clothes and he is left on the side of the road and he can't move and he's close to dying. And the robbers have left this man. But all of a sudden, a priest walks by and, the ma and he sees this man and looks at him, needing help, and he walks away. But then a Levite walks by and he sees this man and sees that he needs help. But then he walks away. Then a third man walks by, a Samaritan, and he sees this man and he sees that he needs help and he decides to help him. He puts bandages round his wounds and his cuts. He puts him on his donkey, takes him to a nearby inn and he looks after him there and gives the innkeeper money to look after him. And he tells him that it, the Samaritan said, take care of this man. If you spend more money on him, I will pay it back to you when I come again. The Samaritan looked after this man. Then Jesus said, which one of these three men do you think was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by the robbers? The teacher of the law answered, the one who helped him. Jesus said to him, then go and do the same thing that he did. So over the last few weeks, we have been learning about how to stay home successfully. Let's see if you can remember what we've learned so far. Week one, what was week one? Let's think. Week one was peace. Week two, what was week two? Week two was hope. Week two was hope. Week three, what was week three? Hmm, bad. Week three was joy. And now we are on week number four, the last week of this series. And this week we are learning about love. Learning about love. Jesus taught us to love our neighbors. He taught us to love our neighbors like we love ourselves. So people ask Jesus, who are our neighbors? They went, Jesus, who is my neighbor? Is it literally the person who lives next door? Is that the only person that I should love? Jesus told this story to show people who their neighbors were, to show people who they should love. The first person to walk past was a priest. The priests worked in the temple, in the place where people worship God. Everyone expected this priest to stop and help. But did he? No, this priest didn't help. He worked in the temple and he didn't help. The second man to walk past was a Levite. The Levites helped the priests in the temple. Everyone expected the Levite to stop and help. But did he stop and help? No, the Levite didn't even stop to help. At this point, everybody here in this story must have gone, well, if the Levite and the priest aren't gonna help, who is gonna help this guy? Who on earth will help this poor man? The third person to walk by was a Samaritan. Now the Jews and the Samaritans hated each other. They did not get along. They were like your little brother and your older brother 
or your older siblings and your younger siblings or maybe you and your parents or whoever it may be, they were fighting. One thought they were better than the other. The other thought they were better than this one. They were always saying, I'm the best. I'm the best, not you, me, I'm the best. They really didn't get along. So when the Samaritan walked past, nobody thought that he would stop. Everybody thought, oh, this Samaritan isn't gonna stop. He's no good. He's a silly Samaritan. But did he? Yes. The Samaritan is the one who stopped. Now this must have shocked everybody here in the story to hear that he was the one who stopped. He was the one who helped. Jesus used this story to show us who we should love and how we should love. We should love everyone, no matter who they are or what they've done. Loving people means being kind to them and helping them out. This lockdown can be a very difficult time. And there's lots of things that are important for us to remember. But the most important thing to remember is to always love. We should always be trying to love people. We should always try to be loving to people, helping them out and being kind to them, whatever the situation, no matter who they are, especially in hard times like this. Love is the most important thing that we can have in our lives. God showed his love for us. He showed how much he loved us, each and every one of us. He showed his love by sending Jesus to die on a cross for us. He loves each and every one of us, no matter what. No matter who you are or what you've done, he loves you. Here is today's remember line. I love everyone else, no matter what. I love everyone, no matter what. So let's get ready to do some actions. So we need to be up on our feet, up on our feet, Getting ready to go, getting moving. Let's get our remember hands ready. Let's get our remember heads ready. Remember, remember. Let's get our remember shoulders ready. Let's get our remember hips ready. And let's get our remember nose ready. Let's get the remember nose ready. Are we ready? I love everyone no matter who they are let's do that again i love everyone no matter who they are and one last time i love everyone no matter who they are here is this week's craft As you can see, I printed both of my hands with paint and then I've written by it, a loving heart means having helpful hands. A loving heart means having helpful hands. And at the bottom, I've written Luke chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. And that is where the story of the Good Samaritan is. And this craft can help remind us that just like the Good Samaritan, we can show our love for others by helping them out. I chose to do it in red because I like the color red, but you can do it in whatever color you like. Green, orange, purple, blue, yellow, any other color that you might be able to think of. Take a photo of your craft and send it to us. We would love to see it and show it to everybody else online as well. I'm gonna pray very quickly. God, we thank you so much that you love us, no matter who we are, or what we've done. Thank you that you sent Jesus to teach us how to love others and to show us by dying on the cross how much you loved us. Help us to follow you every day and to show others how much we love them by helping them out, God. We pray that you would help us to love everyone no matter who they are or what they've done, just like you loved us. In your mighty name we pray, amen. 
We hope you have the best weeks ever and we'll see you again very soon. Bye.